Hey everyone, it's the founder of Developers Academy and you are watching Code Hangout episode number 24. In this Code Hangout episode, I would love to show you how to create an image scroller effect just like the one when you tap into a photo of the Twitter iMessage or Facebook app then you can scroll the image around, zoom in, zoom out, rotate the device and it still works nicely. So let's do this. First, I want you to download the starter project right down below with the link right down below. If, you're, if you are watching this video outside uh, on YouTube or outside of Developers Academy, use the link right down below and download the starter project. And it will ask you for your name and email because as always, when you are attending, a, when you're attending a live code hangout with us, I always have a freebie for you. That is a crash course iOS crash course I want to give you. You can select either courses you like with the options below. So let's download the starter project and let's get started. Here's our starter project. When you go to the starter project, there's nothing happened really. In the main dot storyboard, we just have one single image view controller. It is exactly this class, the image view controller. It is a subclass of UI view controller. And in this UI view controller, we have some of uh, our code that I already prepared for you. And we will fill in, just fill in the blank, fill in these methods, these private methods, okay? The first one I want you to notice is a variable, a property called var image view UI image view. This image view is the image we want to show. Okay, it is a public property, so an internal property. So you can pass it in from other class also. And the next one is a scroll view. The idea behind this is we have a scroll view inside the super view, and inside this scroll view, we will have the image view. So with the scroll view, it can be displayed a very large image or very something, a view that is very large. And what it can do is it can zoom in, zoom out, and scroll things around. And that's why we want to use scroll view. So in this episode, you will learn a lot about scroll view and also uh, some of the properties in the view that is so beneficial for you later on when you learn more advanced topic in iOS, okay? The first step, we will need to set up a scroll view with an image view. So let's do this. And as here in this mark, we have a setup scroll view, right? And I have, I have the setup scroll view method. So let's let's call this method in the view did log. So we call this setup scroll view in the view did log, just like this. Okay. And then let's fill in this setup scroll view method. First, I will instantiate a new instance of the scroll view and we'll do UI scroll view equals UI scroll view and we'll use this uh, initializer. We'll have to provide the frame of the scroll view and this frame in this case, we will use the bounds of the super view or the view. Okay, why we want to use the bounds? Well, we want to have the scroll view with the size of exactly the size of the whole screen, or in this case, the super view. So we want to use the bounds of the view, okay? And the bounds has the detail about the origin and the size, the width and the height, okay? Next, because we are not using uh, auto layout or storyboard to instantiate these UI, I want to set the scroll view dot auto resizing mask, okay? This one it determines whether um, which one the location or of the scroll view. If you are using auto layouts, you have the width and height of the scroll view exactly like the view. Okay, so the auto resizing mask we'll use a set like this, and we have the flexible width with the dot flexible height. And we're done. Next, I want to set the background color of the scroll view to be something like maybe black. In the image, I show you it is a white, but uh, I think using a um, image, then the background color should be black. Okay, UI color dot 
black color. And we also want to set the content size of the scroll view. Content size. It be something like the image view dot bounds dot size. Okay. So that the content size of the scroll view is the size of the content itself inside the scroll view. And the content in this scroll view, we just want to display this image view. And this image view, we instantiate it in the view that load. And we have an image view with the name from the image with the name of courses, which is um, this image over here. Okay. We have that image over there. So let's. Next, we want to do, we want to add this image view into the scroll view, and then we'll add the scroll view as a sub view of the view. So let's do that. We'll do scroll view dot add sub view. We'll add the image view into the scroll view, and we also add the view dot add sub view, and we'll do scroll view. Okay, that should be good. Next, our next step is to set the zooming properties for the scroll view okay the zooming properties for the scroll view so that we can zoom in zoom out the scroll view because right now if we are running this project let's try and run it okay i'm doing it this live here so if you're watching this live then it may take some time to run this project Okay, so if we are running this project right now, we just have a very large image inside the view, inside the scroll view, and we can scroll it around. It's just right out of the box with all the features of a scroll view with something very big, okay? These are the thumbnails of our courses at Developers Academy. I hope that you will join us someday, okay? Now, let's set up the zooming properties for this scroll view. It, uh, it will be very, very simple. So in order to do that, um, we will set the delegate of the scroll view, scroll view dot delegate to be self, to be this view controller. And then we will implement a method inside of, these, of the UI scroll view delegate. Okay, let's implement that. And I want to create an extension of image view controller. UI, it will conform to the UI scroll view delegates. Okay. And the method we want to do right now is view for zooming in the scroll view. Okay. With this method, we just have to return one view. And the view is the what is the view we want to zoom in, zoom out in the scroll view. So let's do that. View for zooming in scroll view and see that it will return. We'll need to return a UI view. In this case, we want to return the self.image view, which is the image inside this scroll view. Okay. Next, we have this method called set zoom scale for this scroll view size. Okay, we have the size of the scroll view, and we want to set the zoom scale. We have things like minimum zoom scale, we have the maximum zoom scale. So we don't have to we don't want to, the user to squeeze it too small or zoom it too big, okay? We can set those things. Let's image size equals image view dot bounds dot size. So we have the size of the image. Then I want to have the width scale to be scroll view size dot width. Okay, and this is the width scale, the scale of the width of the scale, the ratio of the width of the score view and the, the image view. Okay, so we have that ratio, image view dot width, image size dot width. Okay, and let's do another one called the height scale to be score view size dot width dot height over the image size dot height okay now what is the minimum scale of this well we go determine the minimum scale to be either which one is smaller the width scale or the height scale so minimum scale to be we will call this function myth scale and 
height scale. Okay. Next, I want to set set up the zooming properties properties for the scroll view, and we will do that using scroll view dot minimum zoom scale to be the minimum scale. And how about we will set the maximum zoom scale to be something like 3.0 to 5.0, okay, so that we can zoom in up to 3x. That should be good. Next, we'll need to call this method set up zoom scale for inside the view did load method. So let's call that. We'll call set zoom scale for, and here we'll have to pass in the scroll view dot mount dot size, the size of the scroll view. And we want to set the scroll uh, scroll view dot zoom scale to be something like scroll view dot minimum zoom scale. Okay. So right off the back, we will set that zoom scale for the for the scroll view. Okay, now what is this zoom scale? Well, the zoom scale is a property of the scroll view that whenever you set it, the view inside it, this view, the view that you just returned in this method, it will be zoomed accordingly. So if you return it as 2.0, it will zoom as 2.0. 0 0.5, it will squeeze down. 3.0, it will blow up, okay? So that should be good. Now, let's run the project to see how it looks like, okay? Let's see if we can actually scroll this image inside a scroll view. All right, now, when you look at this, because we set the zoom for scale for this one, and we zoom, we will set that to, to, be, to be the minimum zoom scale. So at this image, with the ratio that we set here, with this width scale and the height scale, so that this one with this one, it always fits in those into the screen. Okay, even if it has a very wide image, it will squeeze down to fit the screen. And then, in order to um, use two fingers to zoom in, zoom out in the simulator, you can hold the Option key. Okay, hold the Option key. So you have these two fingers, and then you can zoom in, zoom out like that. Very nice, right? And zoom in, zoom out like this. Okay, these courses are from the Blue Academy. Um, now, you see when in the Twitter app or the Facebook app, we have this image, but this image, it is right in the center, right in the center of the scroll view or the view. It is not like way above there, so we want to make it right in the center. Let's do that, recenter the image. Okay, that is our third step. So stand, center the image within its super view. In this case, the super view of the image is the scroll view, right? Let's do that. First, I will um, get the scroll view at scroll view size to be the scroll view dot bound dot size. Okay, and then I want to have the image size, image view size, so that later on we can use it immediately to be image view dot bound dot size. Pretty good. Next, we want to have the horizontal space. Oops. Okay, you see, well, if we make this image right in the center like this, you want to have the horizontal space. Okay, this horizontal space, so that the horizontal space, these horizontal space are equal, so we can make it right, right in the center of the scroll view, right? Right now, it is above here, so we want to move it down, okay? In order to do that, we have to calculate the, uh, actually, the vertical space and also the horizontal space, okay? Let's horizontal space equals the image size image view size dot width and we want to check if the width of the image is less than the width of the scroll view then we want to return the scroll view 
size dot width minus the image view size dot width and we want to divide it by two two point zero okay otherwise we will just return zero so you can imagine the vertical space is the image view size dot width is it less than actually height is it less than the scroll view size dot height if it is less than the scroll view size dot height then we return the scroll view size dot height minus the image view image view size dot height and we also divide it by 2.0 and otherwise we return it return zero okay, and this one is image view now now we have the horizontal space the space above the image and the vertical space um, the vertical space the space above the image and the horizontal space of the image so we want to set that image to be with those spaces okay and in order to do that we can use the content inset of a scroll view scroll view dot content inset equals to and this is a ui edge inset and we have to specify uh, four things top left bottom and the right okay the top is uh, vertical space I hope that this time I do it right left is horizontal space horizontal space the bottom is all again the vertical space and the right is horizontal space cool so our next job is just to comb this recenter the image in the view that load so when the view is load we have that image right in the center View the load here, recenter the image, and we are good to go. We have a sip of water. Okay, I see that we didn't have that image. Okay, so here's our project. And wait, so we didn't have the image right in the center, right? There's something wrong about this. Well, what is wrong is um, in this recenter image, we have the size of the image to be image view dot bound dot size. Okay, what we want here is image view dot frame dot size. Why we want why we do we want that? Well, when we do the frame that size, it is in respect to the scroll view because it is the super view of the image view, right? So at that time, when we use the image view that frame that size, we have the exact size of the image view because when the image view is inside a scroll view, right? It is, it will be squeezed up or squeezed down according to the zoom scale. That's why we want to use the frame of the image view, not the bounds of the image view. The bounds of the image view is the original size of the image view. It is that giant, humongous image, okay? That's why the size of the, the width and the height of the image view is always greater than the size, width and height of the scroll view we set it originally. So this one, it returns zero, and all, all of these things are zero okay so let's run the project again and hopefully we get it right yes okay we have this wonderful image right center and when you squeeze it like way inside zoom in it like this and we release it it's snap back how wonderful is that right and we can zoom in like that okay we can do it like this all right now one other thing i want to show you is um when 
when we zoom in like that, okay, when we zoom in like this, now notice one thing. It looks great, but it doesn't fill up the screen, but we can still move the image around, okay? What happened is when we zoom in like this, we also have to recenter the image once again. So let's do that. And in order to do that, we can use a method inside the UI scroll view delegate. And that is called the scroll view dit zoom. Okay. Scroll view dit zoom. And this one just called the self dot recenter the image. Let's run it once again and see how it looks like. Boom. Let's zoom in and it way is strict like that. We cannot move it around. Okay. Cool. All right. Good. Next, what we want to do is we want to have the screen rotation. When we rotate the device, what we, okay, let's, let's try to rotate this device. Now, do it like that, rotate it. Uh, it doesn't look that nice. So let's dealing with screen rotation. Now, in order to do it with screen rotation, we can use a method called view did layout sub view or actually view will layout sub view, okay? View will layout sub view and don't forget to call the super dot view will layout sub views. Oops, okay. First, we want to set the zoom scale for this image, scroll view dot bounce dot size. That should be good. And then we just recenter the image. Let's run it. All right, so when the device is rotates and it looks good like that. Cool. Rotate, looks good, right? But now there's one last thing, just one last thing. There's something wrong here. When we zoom in like this and I rotate it, okay? It doesn't look really nice when we zoom in like that and especially like this okay what we want to do is when we rotate the device we want to set the zoom scale once again so we want to check if the scroll view dot zoom scale is less less than the scroll view dot minimum zoom scale okay because when we rotate the device the width and the height is different we want to make sure that the minimum zoom scale and the zoom scale is in the right order then we want to check we want to set the zoom scale scale to be the scroll view scroll view dot minimum zoom scale just these two lines of code and then we're good to go let's zoom it in okay make it back and it looks great Okay, so that is how you can create an image view controller, an image scroller effect, just like the Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. So what I want to do right now is invite you to Developers Academy. If you are watching this on YouTube or other platform, I want you to invite you to Developers Academy and take one of our courses if you are so interested in this. So what you can do is go to learn dot developers academy dot io and you have a bunch of courses right here for you ready for you to take to learn even more about ios development so i can't wait to see you at one of our courses until next time i see you in the next episode of code hangout go out there every day of go out there every single day of your life learn new thing create your ideas and contribute to the world